guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bringing to episode 25 of Hirogato Sky Pretty Care, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. This is the zoo episode, right? Yeah. Yeah. Going to the zoo. Make sure you have wipes. Yeah, I mean, I think she's ready. I mean, she liked it before we found out she was the child of destiny. Oh my god, Machido, stop. You're overthinking this, baby. Yeah. Oh my god, Sora. <laughs> I think Elle likes wearing comfortable clothes. You don't have to dress her up like that. Oh my god, <laughs> By wearing a football... <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> See, even Elle, it's just like, hold up, what the heck are you guys wearing? Like, mm -mm. <laughs> And I get it. I, I really, truly get it. Especially learning about the fact that Baby is now a child of destiny. Um, of course, Mashiro, Sora, and Tsubasa, they're all going to be like, oh my god, now we need to do this and we need to do that and such. And it's just, you treat her the exact same way that you've been treating her. Don't, she's not into all the glitz and the glamour and such, maybe a little bit, but she, for food-wise, she loves anything that Mashiro cooks. And, you know, clothes-wise, she loves regular basic clothes. Now, yes, you can dress her up. <laughs> oh, this is a new person. Um, you can dress her up and like this cute little dress or anything, something that makes her so freaking adorable and ish. Yes, but baby doesn't always want all that. That was the same thing with like the shoes. She, you, everybody was choosing shoes that they thought she would like, and then in the end, she chose the uh, the shoes that she wanted. So just think about that. Anytime you're like, oh, well, we should cook her this, or oh, we should have her wear this, or we should protect her like this, and da da da. That's the best thing. Always think about what L wants. That's the baby. Is this episode going to make me want to go to the Jacksonville Zoo? <laughs> I have not been in like, whoa, years? <laughs> you, Agatha. Thank you. Say it again in the back, baby. No, it's okay. Look at the coffee bottles.
Horse, oh my god. The cow is blue. <laughs> Even the panda! Oh, oh my god. Oh, wait. Whoa! 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 Are we doing the Lion King up in here? You want to talk to an owl? A lion? I, I don't know about this. Angry. Yeah, it does make me wonder. No. <laughs> oh, like I. <laughs> I don't think there are classes for gifted children like that. What's up? <laughs> oh my god! Mm-hmm. Oh. Goodbye. I am dead. My baby is so precious. So, so, so precious. Ah! I really feel like her and Hugaton would literally be the best of friends. Like, I can't. Babies are just so fucking cute! 
God, we're going back to like a good time. <laughs> and how crazy I was of that baby. Because <laughs> I used to really was. Anytime Hugatar came into the scene, I was like, ah, this guy. <laughs> It's supposed to be, um, yeah, I think it's supposed to be, like, a, the ears look very cowish, or a boar, or no, um, a warhog, maybe. Mm -hmm. Alright, third villain, well, sub-villain. But we're not in the main. We haven't even seen the main, which is crazy. <laughs> uh oh. They sense the danger. Because animals are really good about that. Oh, ow. I mean, not on. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yo!
And of course, he's the most freaking OP -est of it. So he's going to be very tough in every single episode as of now. the bunnies oh and I think that one's gonna run towards them Seriously? That just happened, right? Oh, and then spin it around mm -hmm, and throw it up in the air. Oh, okay. Not what I was thinking, but okay. Oh, good job, Al.
Uh oh. Oh. Friendly. Oh. See? <laughs> You guys were also learning stuff from her. Oh my god. I'm crying. <laughs> crying over a baby once again. Oh my god. No comment. I don't even know what to say after this episode. But yeah, I can't believe you yeah, hi, baby. But oh my god, this was so good. Like, oh. Was not expecting to cry. Oh my god. Or just not really to cry, more tear up. But oh my god, that got me. And that got me good. Like, yes, I love the fact that, like, everything that they've been teaching her, she's no, like, reciprocating it back with everything she's learned. That's so freaking cute. And any lesson, anything that's brand new that they've learned because of Elle, they're like, oh my god. <laughs> Stop it! Oh god, I can't. So, oh my god, wait. That means next week we're gonna see Black. What? Oh my god. It's still, to me, it's weird because, like, when they were going backwards from, I think, Blossom. I think something on Twitter said they, I think they skipped somebody. But it makes me want to go back and look because, honestly, I don't remember. But seriously, this was cute. Really. I mean, seeing them go to the zoo and, and such and just being around in that atmosphere. How I, I kind of even want to go to the zoo myself. Like I said, I have not been to the zoo in years. So I would say 2002? I go on an airport? I'm in an airplane? I don't know why, but see, seeing them in the atmosphere and looking at the plane, I'm getting, like, hella vibes to, like, um, Mermaid, uh, Mermaid Melody, Peach, 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 Pure, when, um, Kato-chan finally, like, left, and Best Girl Hanon was ultimately saying goodbye to him, and, because, one, that was her first love and everything, and even though, like, he didn't reciprocate her feelings and such because he was in love with Sarah, da 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 but, you know, he, in the end, he wrote a song for her, and it's, like, the best song ever. I don't know why, I just get those feels, but in the end, she also lost the music, but she also, eventually, she found a new freaking love interest, and, you know, hey, got the music back, I'm just saying it, but, like, seriously... This was adorable. I, I love the fact that overall the episode was about Elle. I love the fact that we're getting a lot more Elle-focused episodes. Because it once again we're going into the... Okay, it's like if we're looking at past seasons and such. Um, When it comes to our mascots. Mascots really don't get episodes specifically focused on them. I would say, like, yeah, Delicious had one, um, Healing Good had several, I cannot remember if Tropical Rouge had an episode, like, well, Tropical Rouge didn't really have an episode, solemnly focused on Kudadun, but it's the, the comedy episode, so I think that's, like, episode 30, which is my personal favorite episode, besides that one, and 
I think it's episode 27 or 28 in Tropical Rouge. But the highlight in episode 30 was Kudanu getting a transformation sequence and such and being like, okay, we got six people in our group. Da -da -da -da. Um, but of course, with Kudanu, Kudanu got moments in almost every freaking episode when Kudanu officially appeared and such. Hence why, even though you can't see the Kudanu plushie in the background, it is there. And I was like, I need this. I was like, the precious baby, I need the damn seal <laughs> and such. And it just makes me also feel like any anytime when the babies or the mascots do potentially get an episode focused on themselves, they're really interesting. I mean... Hagutan, I can't really remember, like, majority of the episodes she got focus on, of course, like, anything that happened in ha with Hagutan in Hagutan particular, where she did something, it was always me and Hamane fangirling over the dang baby and being like, oh my god, like, look at what she, she's, she's getting up, oh my god, she's doing her first walks and steps, like, oh my god, she's just so freaking cute, and you just can't because it's a freaking baby. And so it's like this what L, but it's like a thousand times more worse in a good way and such. And so just seeing her at the zoo as this child of destiny and all these animals are just interacting with her and wanting, like, she's saying like, oh, hey, come here. They all get up and they come walking towards her. And you're like, okay. We need a little more context on this. So hopefully, yeah, in the next and coming weeks with... Um, I'm about to say Hagutan. Elle's powers. We do get a little more information, maybe even backstory on it. I do want to know the voice of the quote-unquote star that we saw in episode 24. Who that belongs to. And I'm guessing that has to be Elle's real mother and such. And so if it is her mom, will we potentially see her by the time the series is over and such? Once again, a lot of unanswered questions. I mean, even I think at the time when I was watching episode 24, I think I might have thought that that was Elton herself just in the future and such and just saying like, oh, hey, da 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 da. But instead of referring it to her as her, she has to say, oh, this child and such. And so maybe that is it. We don't really know. We're, we're only at the halfway point. Of this show as of right now. But I am glad that next week's episode. Is a Subasa Focus episode. Because yay best boy. I'm super excited. And I honestly cannot wait to see. More, more of his love on airplanes. And everything else. So, but yeah. It was a damn good episode. Other than that guys. That is my reaction to tourist episode 25. Of Hidogato Sky Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it. Please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also subscribe to my channel. And make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And of course. I will see you guys officially all next Saturday. For episode 26. Bye guys.